hey guys and welcome back to my channel today we're going to be making these fun colorful bubble tea coasters so stay tuned if you enjoy these tutorials make sure to hit the like button and subscribe i post a video every week kind of i'm trying and yeah let's just get started with the video You're going to start with a slip knot. You're going to wrap the yarn around your fingers in the shape of an X. Grab your hook, go under the right side and then over the left side. Drag it under the right side and twist your hook. Then you're going to let go of the yarn and tighten it around your hook. Then you're going to chain. To do that, you're going to yarn over and then pull the yarn through your loop. You're going to repeat that until you have a total of 17 chains. Then, you're going to half double crochet in the second chain away from the hook. To half double crochet, you're going to yarn over and then you're going to insert your hook into the chain. Then. You're going to yarn over and pull through. With three loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all of them. You're going to be half double crocheting across the chains so that by the end you should have a total of 16 stitches. When you reach the end of the row, you're going to chain 1 and turn your work around. From row 2 till row 12, you're going to be half double crocheting all across. And when you half double crochet, you're gonna go into that 2 loops of the stitch. At the end of each row, you're going to continue to have 16 stitches. For row 13, you're going to be stitching all around, minus the top. So, to start, you're going to chain 1, and then you're going to crochet across the side. So, in each row, you're going to have one half double crochet. You're going to stitch a total of 11 half double crochets across the first side. Then you're going to do three half double crochets into that last stitch. Then you're going to do 14 half double crochets across the bottom chains. When you reach that last stitch, you're going to be doing 3 half double crochets into that stitch. Then you're going to do 11 half double crochets across the second side and by the end of this you should have a total of 42 stitches. So the base of the bubble tea cup is done. You're gonna cut your yarn, yarn over and pull it all the way through to finish off. Now, to start with the top part of the cup, you're going to insert your hook into that last stitch that you did, the one that you did on the side. So, you're going to insert your hook. You're going to grab the white yarn and pull it through. And then you're going to chain one. For row 14, you're gonna start with a half double crochet increase, meaning you're gonna do two half double crochets into that first stitch. So you're gonna do your first half double crochet, 
and then you're gonna do a second half double crochet into that same stitch then you're going to half double crochet all across until you have one stitch left In the last stitch, you're going to do another half double crochet increase. So two half double crochets into that same stitch. By the end, you should have a total of 20 stitches. You're going to chain one and turn your work around to start with row 15. For row 15, you're going to be half double crocheting all across with a total of 20 stitches. When you reach the end of the row, you're going to cut your yarn and finish off. Now moving on to crocheting the straw, you're going to count 9 stitches away from the edge and then you're going to insert your hook into that 9th stitch. Then you're going to pull the yellow yarn through and chain 1. You're going to do 4 half double crochets across starting from that 9th stitch. Then you're going to chain 1 and turn. For row 17 and 18, you're going to be half double crocheting all across. When you're done, you're going to cut your yarn, pull it all the way through to finish off. As for the loose ends, you're going to grab your needle and you're going to weave them in. Now we're going to start making the bubbles. Using your black yarn, you're going to create a magic ring. You're going to wrap the yarn around your fingers in the shape of an X, grab your hook, go under the right side and then over the left side, drag it under the right side and twist it. Then go again under the left side, yarn over and pull it through your loop. Then you're going to do 6 half double crochets inside the magic ring. So you're going to yarn over. Go into the magic ring, yarn over and pull through, and then you're going to yarn over and pull through the three loops on your hook. You're going to repeat that until you have six half double crochets. To tighten the magic ring, you're going to pull on the tail of your yarn. To close the magic ring, you're going to slip stitch into that first stitch. So you're going to insert your hook, yarn over and pull the yarn all the way through. Then, you're going to cut your yarn and finish off. You're going to repeat that until you have 5 bubbles. Last but not least, you're going to stitch the bubbles onto the coaster using the needle and the tail of your yarn. So you're just going to stitch from the coaster to the bubble at the edge and then from the bubble back into the coaster. And then you're going to repeat that all around until the bubble is secure. And with that, the bubble tea coaster is done. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!